Welcome to our furniture workshop, uh, presented by myself, Ruben Mudley, and my colleague, Matt Smith. We're going to start off with a uh, PowerPoint presentation, and the real intention behind this PowerPoint presentation is just to pretty much get you guys up to speed with things that you already know, but it serves more as a refresher than anything else. Um, like I said, the aim of this workshop is to refresh you on the basics, sometimes overlooked, to provide solutions and processes that will save you time and money, and more importantly, we're trying to do it right the first time. And that is all linked to saving time and money, which is very important, especially at this point in time. We're going to be concentrating on furniture leather. We're going to go through the different types of leather, the products that we use on the different types of leather, the application, which is going to be more on a practical side of things linked up to the main practical session. Moving on to the product section and the products that we use commonly to clean our leather or have our leather prepared for the purpose of restoration. The three most common products that we would use is the color clean, the universal cleaner and the low solvent cleaner. All right, let's get on to the repair process. Certain repairs such as holes and tears should not be done prior to the first stage prep as any moisture saturation may result in the leather puckering. All right, and that's a wrap on the theory. I'm going to now hand it over to Matt, and he's going to run us through on some practical pointers. I'm going to briefly talk about a couple finishes that I did on some cushions here and see if they generate any questions from you guys. I can answer them, how I did these. I use a couple different products when doing this. Uh, one of the biggest things about this business is just learning to be able to manipulate the products, make them work for you. So, and this is just a tip. When you spring aniline, especially a panel of this nature, you depress your trigger off the set, okay? And then you sort of come on. And you release off the set, come on, and leave it off. When you start on the panel, like there, you're going to leave that heavy mark because that's where you're blasting in first and that's going to soak right in because you're coming in at that point with the heavier pressure. So just a tip so you can avoid that. An example of the degreaser spray. This is that nasty piece I was telling you guys about earlier. The visual difference is impressive. I'm a little, uh, I'm curious what your expectation is as far as the grippiness. Do you feel like you'll be able to get past that with repeated applications? Well, I, I overqualified the repair to the customer already. I said this is ridiculous. I didn't, actually, I didn't say those words. I, uh, I said it's really heavily uh, sprayed with, uh, I mean, soap with body oils. I don't know what I can do. 